hello everyone in last video we uh, saw about method overloading in this video we're going to see about how the method overriding going to work uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe so let's get started so what is the scenario in this method overriding scenario is just like this there is a one store uh, the store name is uh, let's say a in that there is one employee is working and that employee is given like a uh, 1000 as a bonus and and salary after some time this store is overtaken by the another store and now that store owner want to change the salary of that person and that's what we're going to see in a in a practical method overriding over here so we need a two class so let's start with uh, the uh, class so i'm going to create a class store class store as uh, class store a and here i'm going to create a uh, my method public void amp data and i'm going to provide a two uh, parameter so int id and int name curly braces and i would say system dot out dot print ln employee name is plus name I also need let's say let's print out ID also ID ID and let's create another method inside that same class okay so amp salary okay and here we provide int salary so int int bonus equal to salary plus 1000 okay so, and bonus employee total earning <clears throat> so in this scenario store a has one employee and that employee is earning salary on top of that salary they are providing the bonus okay so uh, bonus uh, is a 1000 and let's create another class so class store B so right now if I extend so remember we did in a inheritance right extends store a what does that mean that everything in a store a is now property of store B and if you want to make sure we can do one thing we can do create a, a kind of object and let's check so store b b equal to new store b and i'm going to say b dot amp salary and how much we want to give the salary? 5,000? Let's give 5,000. And let's run it. So employee earning is 6,000 because the salary 
we provide 5000 plus 6000 bonus okay and we are running uh, so basically uh, we ran uh, in a class 2 right uh, which is a store B but wait a minute there is nothing over there right how because we extend a store A what does it mean it's inherent everything so now let's get back to our the second example so let's say a store B decided I don't want to give that much bonus to that particular employee so how are we going to do that or how are we going to solve that problem okay so what we can do I'm going to create a same method over here okay and instead of 1000 I'll just give 100 so what we did we override whatever it had in a store a okay so that's called overriding and it happened in a different class okay and let's run and you can see that is now 5100 okay because now we are overriding that one so that's how we going to use a method overriding method overriding happen in different class okay so that's the example of that one hope you like my video and if you like my video please uh, share and subscribe and see you next video bye bye